some of the highest performing cold email campaigns that we run are ones where we reach out to people based on their social following. So people's followers, likes, comments, etc. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can scrape people's uh, followers and following and post engagement off of Twitter. So you can run cold email campaigns targeting those people. So let's dive straight in. So the tool that I like to use uh, to scrape Twitter engagement and Twitter followers is called Tweet Scraper. You can check it out at tweetscraper.io. I might have an affiliate link in the description below. I might not, I don't know. At, at the time of recording this, I don't. So you can check out their site. Um, if you wanna make an account, just go to their site, make a login, it's pretty simple. So once you go to Tweet Scraper, they have a dashboard, they have followers following. There's all these different engagement types that you can scrape, but the most common one is probably followers. So let's say, for example, you wanna scrape um, startups. So one of the ways you can do this is is go to Y Combinator, which is a startup incubator. It's a VC fund where a bunch of people apply to become startups and get their funding. And so this would be a great place that you could probably find uh, startups if you wanna reach out to them. So one of the things you could do here is just take the username um, from their account. You can see there's 1.4 million followers, which are a lot of different followers you can scrape. But if I throw in um, the Twitter user here, and then if I use Tweet Scraper, I'm gonna click down on this and I'm actually gonna move my beautiful face so you can see this. Um, you can see there's all this different criteria you can scrape by. So you can filter by keywords. So let's say for example, I want to reach out to only profiles that mention the word CEO, founder, um, startup, something like that, so that I'm reaching out to relevant people, you can do something like this. Another thing you can do is filter by email type. Now, if you're doing B2B cold outreach, you're probably gonna wanna use the business emails, but in some cases, personal emails can work better if you're trying to get the most amount of emails. Now, what I'd recommend, if you're trying to squeeze the highest volume, I'd run two scrapes, one to business emails, that's like the um, in uh, you know john at company name.com uh, business email, or you can run personal ones where it's like john123 at gmail.com. You can filter by followers. I find this to be useful sometimes. Um, in the case that you're trying to um, get you know, as many people as possible, you can leave this as zero. If you wanna get slightly high quality, high, higher quality profiles, you can filter by followers. But I've noticed in a lot of cases, there are people who have very low followers that are usually really good fit for business services and vice versa, people with high followers that don't have any money and aren't able to buy your services. So um, I wouldn't worry too much about this, but you can definitely play around with this. And targeting, this is if I want people to have CEO and founder and startup, which in most cases, I don't even really like using these keywords that much because a lot of founders don't put founder in their bio. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind. Um, you can exclude all previously scraped users. This is useful if you want to scrape, you know, let's say you scraped at the bottom here, we set a limit of 5,000 people and we want to go back and scrape another 5,000 people. Um, that's something you can do here and, you know, exclude all the people in the past. Another thing you can do is have keywords on the profile to avoid. So let's say you want to avoid people that, you know, are startups or you want to avoid people or sales reps, you can put sales rep or something like that. And then all you have to do to scrape it is just press scrape followers. And then once you do this and you um, get on over the results page, you can just download the list as a CSV. Now, again, if you're going to want to run cold email campaigns, I have a bunch of videos on this channel on how to actually execute that. But you're going to want to make sure you validate it. You're going to want to make sure your deliverability is set up properly. You're going to want to make sure that all your other things in place but once you do that, you can take this data and throw it directly in there. You can also scrape people following. So if Y Combinator, maybe Y Combinator follows all the startups in their fund. And so this might be a good example. I'm saying might because I don't know. Um, and then, yeah, again, same stuff here. Likes. So if you want to scrape specific tweets, this can be useful for engagement. Like if there's a really big tweet from an influencer, you can scrape that. You can scrape retweets. You can scrape list members. There's all kinds of stuff here. So yeah, you can do this. Um, the best way I'd say to filter through a tool like this is to find niche influencers or experts in your field that would indicate that they're a good fit for your services. Um, really good way to do that is just, you know, look at other influencers in your space. You can also even scrape your own followers or other competitors. You can say, hey, I saw you're following this person. Are you interested in the service? Um, and that's pretty much it. There's, there's all kinds of different filters here, but fundamentally all you have to do there is scrape your followers. And then once you get over this results page, you can just press view and download. And as you see, not every single person on the platform is going to have an email, which is okay. But you can see um, in these, in this case here, the top two, this is the same profile we're scraping, but you can see if we scrape personal versus business, you're going to get wildly different results, which again is why you might want to run uh, two different searches. So that's how you scrape Twitter followers. That's how you scrape Twitter engagement. Um, if you want more guides, videos on how to uh, generate more B2B leads, check out the channel. If you want to apply to work with um, our firm so we can manage your outreach for you and help you generate pipeline, help you grow your business, check uh, one of the links in the description below and you can apply to work with me. Um, any other questions, drop in the comments below and hopefully this video was useful.